to maintain that forward pressure. If I just collapse it forward, he might fall forward. Okay? But as I start to knock it sideways, then it's hard for him to maintain that forward pressure. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. So even if I feel myself getting hinged, bam, I have to be nice on that because bam, that's a leg buster. Mm -hmm. So if I, and that goes back to some of what we're doing, geez, I don't know what day. Um, yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> right with the level one class. Damn, um, we were right. If he pushes and a turn, right? It's that. It's like pushing it. Yeah. Bye. Right. So in this case, it's the same thing. If he's pushing and I have to yield, then I just yield part way. I hit him lateral. Hinge. Hinge with the other foot. Hinge. Hinge with the other foot. Hinge. Unless it's the opponent's, opponent's energy that's guiding you. Right. So I guess you got to be a little bit worried when you're turning because you might be parallel when you're hinging. Right. Your foot. Exactly. So you wanna be all and I want to make sure I'm hitting him to stop that forward pressure at that point. And be prepared to. And I'm absolutely, you know, know that yeah. what's happening. Right. So it's a calculated risk. Because the turn can be quite sudden. Right. Right. And a lot of times I'll be stepping offline. If I'm at power, mm -hmm. I step offline that way. And that allows me to avoid the line. Right? And get him to. Does that make sense? Okay, otherwise, I can stay in here, I can hinge this way, and that becomes my oblique. So I take a step back, but I turn, but my weight's on this foot, mm -hmm. and my hips are, are, aren't turned this way. Right? So I they just turn just enough, bam. So you're basically just hinging like that much on right. each side. Right. Almost like the the uh, exactly. the triangle uh, right. the female and male in the circle. Yeah, it's a little male or female. In the circle, yeah. And these are ways to stop because, you know, yes, I love that, bam, right? One of my favorites just for fun is to be the crescent kick somebody in there, bam, just because he could, okay? Because nobody, because you can't, it's pushing somebody with, this is pushing on you, you're not supposed to be able to do this shit, okay? But if you can get the hang of that motion, wham, and returning, right? And the same thing, well, my oblique is on the, this foot here, so bam, right, in this case, I let it hinge this way. Okay, but I wouldn't like to turn that much, bam. So I'm designing a painting almost like a judo sweep. A little more to the outside. But you know how much that hurts on the inside of the shoe, right? Well, from the outside, then you'd be down on that side. Now just cuff that calf bicep. The day you the key is So you're looking, as it does those kicks, you're looking to up more than hit, and you're looking to upset his down. Right. I'm looking to take this foot and put it off line. Okay. Hmm. That's an interesting way of looking at, at it. That's what I'm doing, really. So he can't put weight directly towards me on that one. So he's looking to fuck up his leg. And he's going to fuck up his leg. Yeah, so after one or two, he's going to start being more cautious. Well, if he puts his weight on and I hit it just right, one should do. Then you got to go home and put ice on it. Right? 
I mean, again, if you look at some of those, the few times a good leg kick lands, damn, the boy, if the guy folds, he almost falls down. You do a few of those, mm -hmm. then those are the ones that didn't quite get there right. Because the guy survived it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means they're half an inch off. Mm -hmm. Half, another half an inch, in, you know, and that might have been the end of it. Yeah. Right? Think about it. Because it only has to move that far out for dislocation. You don't have to, you don't have to shift it far to oh. chip something like that. You guys all felt that leg shake. Mm -hmm. Fucking scary, right? And all you're doing is this. The foot's on, you know, wham. That's another story, right? So for him, it's good to get his foot up off the ground, off the mat. So right. I think that's also psychologically so, demoralizing. Can this be applied any time or only in... No, any time. Ideally, you want to catch them in the middle of a step or... Ideally, you want to just catch them... Whenever. Okay, just as they're about to plan. Okay. The point of no return. <laughs> there. Right. And so, you don't want to hurt each other. Well, you, you, used to, you, know, and you can do it off a jab. And you start getting used to you stepping in the hit. Sorry. Doesn't matter if you cross that on, boom. Oh. Right? And you can start timing, timing a little bit more, timing a little bit more, right? And you know, and then when you're in here, it's just any time that foot's there, boom, right? Okay, but anyway, you get the idea. So, aside from the play again, uh, just uh, get used to mm -hmm. moving around. You can do the straight up the middle stuff, boom. But also get used to this angling stuff. And don't be afraid to throw around kick every now and then. And if he's putting pressure, doing that crash, boom, you can take the steam off any time. <laughs> See, he's not even pushing you. <laughs> <laughs> Just holding your hands up now. When's it keep coming? When's it keep coming? <laughs> okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So play in there.